Angioimmunoblastic T-cell lymphoma, Wikipedia article audio. Angioimmunoblastic T-cell lymphoma, 747 is a mature T-cell lymphoma of blood or lymph vessel immunoblasts characterized by a polymorphous lymph node and filtrate showing a marked increase in follicular dendritic cells and high endothelial venules and systemic involvement. Patients with this disease usually present at an advanced stage and show systemic involvement. The clinical findings typically include a pruritic skin rash and possibly edema, ascites, pleural effusions, and arthritis. Signs and Symptoms Sites of Involvement Due to the systemic nature of this disease, Neoplastic cells can be found in lymph nodes, liver, spleen, skin, and bone marrow. This disease was originally thought to be a premalignant condition, termed angioimmunoblastic lymphadenopathy, and this atypical reactive lymphadenopathy carried a risk for transformation into a lymphoma. Currently, it is postulated that the originating cell for this disease is a mature CD4 plus T cell that arises de novo, although some researchers argue that there is a premalignant subtype of this disease. The Epstein-Barr virus is observed in the majority of cases, and the virus has been found in the reactive B cells that comprise part of the polymorphous infiltrate of this disease and in the neoplastic T cells. Immunodeficiency is also seen with this disease, but it is a sequela to the condition and not a predisposing factor. The classical laboratory finding is polyclonal hypergammaglobulemia, and other immunoglobulin derangements are also seen, including hemolytic anemia with cold agglutinins, circulating immune complexes, anti-smooth muscle antibodies, and positive rheumatoid factor. The normal architecture of a lymph node is partially effaced by a polymorphous infiltrate and residual follicles are commonly seen. The polymorphous infiltrate consists of lymphocytes of moderate size with pale-slash-clear cytoplasm and smaller reactive lymphocytes, eosinophils, histiocytes, plasma cells, and follicular dendritic cells. In addition, Blast-like B cells are occasionally seen. A classic morphological finding is the aberization and proliferation of high endothelial venules. Hyperplastic germinal centers and Reed Sternberg-like cells can also be seen. AITL typically has the phenotype of a mixture of CD4 plus and CD8 plus T cells, with the CD4 CD8 ratio greater than unity. Polyclonal plasma cells and CD21 plus follicular dendritic cells are also seen. Causes Clonal T cell receptor gene rearrangements are detected in 75% of cases, and immunoglobin gene rearrangements are seen in 10% of cases, and these cases are believed to be due to expanded EBV driven B cell populations. Similarly, EBV-related sequences can be detected in most cases, usually in B cells but occasionally in T cells. Trisomy 3, trisomy 5, and NDX are the most frequent chromosomal abnormalities found in AITL cases. There is no proven or standard first-line chemotherapy that works for the majority of AITL patients. There are several clinical trials that offer treatment options that can fight the disease. Stem cell transplantation is the treatment of choice, with the allogeneic one being the preference because AITL tends to recur after autologous transplants. Diagnosis The typical patient with angioimmunoblastic T-cell lymphoma is either middle-aged or elderly, and no gender preference for this disease has been observed. AITL comprises 15-20% of peripheral T-cell lymphomas and 1-2% of all non-Hodgkin lymphomas. Aggressive, Cesare disease 
Laboratory Findings Lymph Node Immunophenotype Molecular Findings Treatment Epidemiology Adult T-cell leukemia slash lymphoma